Minnesota Congresswoman Michelle Bachman. Now, a new poll just came out. 60% of Americans are undecided about Governor Palin, as they, I think they should be. So this is a big night for her. But I wanted to have you on the program because you have five children mm -hmm. and 23 foster children at one time or another, many of whom were special needs. That's right. And you just heard Sally Quinn. She's not the only one saying this, that you, don't, you can't be vice president with all of that personal responsibility. And you say? I say, of course you can be vice president and have children at the same time. Men have done that. Women are competent, too. They can, they can do it as well. But you, yes. you were, because you were working here as, as a, in a high-powered position in Minnesota. I was a federal it, tax lawyer here 18 in Minnesota. 18 hours a day? Long days, trying cases. I was trying cases in federal tax court. All right, so how do you answer a Sally Quinn who says, you can't be responsible and take these high power jobs, move to Washington when your kids are in Minnesota. You say what? Women do it all the time. But Bill, you, and you, they do you. it successfully. How did I do yeah. it? I did it because I had a very supportive husband, as it seems Sarah Palin has and Todd, but also you prioritize. I didn't have a lot of discretionary time for myself. It was either the kids or what I had to do with work. And you can do it all, you just can't always do did everything. Did it affect at one the time. children that you weren't in the house four days a week? No. Now, how big a role did your husband take in the day-to-day -day raising of the children? Well, my husband has a bit, we own a business. We're not a big deal, but we have 42 employees. So he runs our two businesses, two locations that we have, and he's with the kids. For both of us, the priority is our marriage, but then the kids. And so they are number one. And so we're kind of a tag team. I'll tell you what, we were both full-time in graduate school at the same time with two kids. And so we had to function, figure out how to work, go to graduate school, raise our children that was very high pressure but it honed us and it brought us closer together if you love each other and respect each other as husband and wife it's amazing what you can do with your kids that's really what kids all right need. so you don't have any kids in prison or uh, you know Gee, i better check i don't know i haven't heard all right they, they the turned out even yeah. the foster kids that you had foster kids turned out okay yeah, now when you hear a sally quinn and again she's not the only one say sarah palin is a bad mom and she shouldn't be doing this what do you have oh she's not a bad mom i got to meet her last month up in Alaska. I went up to visit Anwar in the oil fields. I had dinner with her and spent the evening with her in Fairbanks. She's a lovely woman. She really cares a lot about her kids. She was going back to see them down where they live in, in Anchorage. And she just, I found her to be just a lovely person who was really devoted to her husband and her kids. Do she, you get she angry just had about the baby the criticism? four months earlier. Right. Do you get angry about the criticism directed at her? You know, it is kind of a liberal doublespeak that I'm seeing because there's, there's, isn't it interesting how all of a sudden these far left Democrats are now embracing traditional family values, you know, and they're all worried. This is just odd, I think, coming from them, but they've got to do something because she is such a threat to them. She's very competent. She's achieved something with her life and she has a beautiful family. She's committed to life, committed to her baby with Down syndrome, committed to her unmarried daughter. She's not judgmental. She's just really a loving woman. I think she is their worst nightmare. So you think that uh, that when people get to know her story, oh, yes. that the whole thing is going to turn around and Dick Morris said there's going to be a backlash against the people who are hammering her I think now. Dick is probably right. I think Dick is right on that. For and once in his life. Right? <laughs> Well, I won't comment there, but, but, I, but I do think, Bill, that that is the biggest challenge that Sarah Palin faces right now, yeah. because she's being defined by a very biased leftist media, and her challenge is to define herself. She's got tonight's to do that tonight. Her chance. Absolutely. Tonight's her chance.